common. And democracy in this sense is not possible without uh, some access to a variety of opinions and forms of information. Yes. Well, um, in your opinion, what's the political future of the, the West and East, especially uh, because of the present uh, circumstances? It's a very large question, and uh, it has uh, many traps within it. What is the West? Is it a meaningful category? Uh, let me suspend uh, my questions about the category and suggest to you one thesis. The thesis is that the birthplace of the West, namely Europe, uh, is comparatively in decline. But westernization as a project is triumphing globally. That means that globally we see the emergence of different combinations of the following uh, ways of life. Marketization of production and consumption and investment. Uh, the development of cultures of individualism. Uh, the separation thirdly, of state institutions from non-state institutions, the emergence globally, very unevenly, of uh, civil societies. Uh, these uh, qualities are somehow core qualities of the original, original modern project of westernization, to which I would certainly add the rise of um, uh, means of communications that are not controlled uh, necessarily by states and that encourage the formation of, of public opinions. So these characteristics which are associated with the West uh, are beginning to have a strong impact in all four corners of the earth. Uh, this is sometimes called globalization, let's call it, because you mentioned this, westernization. But the paradox is that the birthplace of the West is beginning to understand that it is only one component of a much bigger world in which its own powers are limited. This uh, so-called um, diminution of the West, not necessarily decline of the West in the sense of Spengler, but this um, humbling of the West, uh, I think is uh, uh, paradoxically part of the triumph of westernization. Now, one last remark. It's true that uh, this project of westernization is being resisted. And it is being resisted in various um, uh, uh, regions of the earth. One could take the example of the Muslim world, which is uh, rejecting, uh, in a process of rejecting, the secularizing trends of uh, the West. But nevertheless, even within this domain, one can see some elements of that process of westernization, the uh, value which is put on economic growth and the development of science and technology, the importance of civil society, the struggle for a greater freedom of public opinion. These are uh, also features of uh, the Muslim world in which uh, there is the highest density of dictatorships uh, remaining on the face of the earth. There has been no uh, democratization to speak of in the uh, uh, Islamic world. And yet one sees the, even in that area where there is resistance to the project of westernization, one can see some elements of westernization. The last question, what's your opinion about the democracy in Latin America? That it is, uh, how can they be better? As I understand it, uh, the whole of the uh, subcontinent is caught up in a drama of uh, disengagement from dictatorship. Uh, and 
there are processes of liberalization and in some uh, cases democratization taking place. Uh, the transition is painful, delicate, dangerous. It is uh, reversible. And from my point of view, uh, I am interested in the ways in which uh, a new settlement could be reached within Latin America, uh, which could have certain features. Uh, above all, the liberalization and democratization of political power, and the experimentation with new regional um, schemes, Mercosur and the impact, and so on. Uh, there is a very strong pressure globally for a variety of reasons for the development of regional uh, integration. Uh, there is some supplementing of the territorial nation state with such schemes. This is uh, a challenge facing uh, the whole of Latin America. Uh, but the process is reversible. There can be regression. And uh, for you, this is a, a, a critical question. Whether there can be more openness, whether there can be more civility without violence, whether there can be greater accountability of those who exercise power, and whether there can be schemes of, of cooperation that make life more livable. So, thank you. Um, well, it's very uh, brief. It's very less. It's, yeah, well, it's it's too large, really. But uh, so you have a, a, a data bank. I mean, a library of uh, videos or something, which well, it's, it's only a project. We have no money. We have no <laughs> sponsors yes. yet. During a, a, a year, we we were looking for a one, but we we. We had no success, but to do what? To have a to have a library of? No, uh, we we have as a project to 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 make a philosophical video program for TV. I say maybe it it will call logos the more the most important question of man. It's a good idea. It's a very good idea. Uh, about society, about death, about good and badness. Mm. It's philosophic. Yeah, I'm, well, I wish you luck with that because it's important. I shall email you soon. Fine.